Welcome back. We got an update here. So early on in the COVID-19 pandemic, as people started to get used to rules for quarantine and isolation, a question came up in Hennepin County about what to do for people who are unsheltered with COVID being such a threat and the edict was shelter in place to make it go away or to keep yourself safe. One solution from that county was to start leasing out empty hotels and later even buying some of them. They opened up the rooms to those experiencing homelessness who were at a high risk of COVID or who had tested positive or had a pending test coming. Well, now it's three years later and state, federal and local governments are easing up on pandemic precautions, obviously, and Hennepin County's focus for those former hotel rooms has also had to change. Here's Sammy Selena. Eyes may be the window to the soul, but Jim's view outside his window orange and yellows and shades of pink fills the soul. Really, I think my favorite part of it is I get to see these really extraordinary sunsets. He's called this Columbia Heights apartment home since April. Before that, he had a different view. Where would I wake up? Usually at a shelter, yep, usually at a shelter. He'd been homeless for about eight years. Incredibly dark place, yep. But opportunity came during the pandemic. Uh, checking in at one of the homeless shelters, and someone there asked, well, how old are you? He was qualified to go to one of the county's COVID hotels to separate people who were vulnerable or sick. He stayed at the Metro Inn in South Minneapolis, where he found help. Prize for uh, best, best case manager, <laughs> no. the lady here to my, to my left. <laughs> well, thank you for okay. that compliment. <laughs> Addie Hammond. I sometimes put up with my shenanigans. Was one of the specialized oh. case managers the county hired to help unsheltered people in the hotels find permanent homes. And sometimes I will have to go knock on his hotel room door to see him because he will avoid me. It's easier to help people that way. 1,137 people stayed in COVID hotels during the pandemic. 464 of those people found permanent housing through case managers like Addie. 97 percent are still housed. The Metro Inn in South Minneapolis was one of five locations the county bought for about 25 million, made possible by federal pandemic relief funds. And now we've started construction to actually convert this building into deeply affordable single room occupancy housing. Julia Welly Ayers is the director of housing development and finance in Hennepin County. This type of housing is intended to fill a gap in our housing continuum. Metro Inn wouldn't be the first of the COVID hotels to be converted. I love the rent. Oh. <laughs> I know you don't hear people say that, but I love my rent. Bella Mosley. Seven months ago, I was actually homeless. Had issues finding a place to live. With past stuff in my background and credit and stuff, these landlords was all like, no, no, no. But the converted property in Stevens Square offers low barrier, affordable rent. 385. It includes everything. Now there's plans to remodel about 170 units of deeply affordable housing. Metro Inn's 36 rooms should be open by the end of the year. Yeah, it does feel like it does feel like home. The pandemic opened a window of opportunity for people to find housing and for the county to acquire more. I'm seeing mostly mostly pink and blue. You can feel the uh, the birds settling down. And now Jim feels settled too. This is actually my favorite part of the day. Sammy Solina, CARE 11 News. Great follow up there, Sammy. So in a better effort to listen to what the neighborhoods want with this project, it's a partnership. The county is going to the meetings in those neighborhoods to be a part of this ongoing conversation.